the business model, or the business models, I should say, around um, the sort of video space are fascinating because, for the most part, there aren't any solid ones yet. Um, you know, there's a lot of potential. People are very excited about the idea of video ads online and, and so on. But if you if you really dig into this, you'll find that very few people in the space are making significant revenue. It's it's certainly not as obvious a business as say keyword search marketing is today. Um, one of the reasons I love where Blinks is, frankly, um, from a sort of financial headache point of view, is that we know that search is very monetizable. You know, it's very easy. If you have someone doing a search on your site, it's very easy to match that search to relevant advertising, whether that's video, whether it's just text ads, and put those ads alongside the results. And you know, Google and Yahoo and MSN already do that to great effect today. And there's absolutely no reason why, why Blinks won't be able to do that as well. The other beauty of being a search engine is that you don't really host the content. The most expensive thing with video is the hosting and the streaming costs. Um, again, the beauty of a search engine is we don't do any of that. We actually link off to somebody else who does that. So um, from that point of view, I, th I think we actually have a very solid base from which to build a business model. The way we're doing it today, actually live, is is not through our own site because our own site is is used more as a sort of demonstration of the technology and, and it's, it's in that sense not sort of a true destination. Instead, what we do is we license both our engine and this index of content we have. Um, you know, we have something like five or six million hours of content now. So we index that, we, sorry, we license that to other people who may want to offer video search on their own portals. So, um, you know, for example, we, we have a deal with Lycos.com whereby we power the video search on all of their um, various sister sites. And the beauty of that is that when you go and do one of those searches, you'll see there's advertising both alongside and below the results. And essentially, Lycos and Blinks share the revenue that's generated from those ads. You know, right now the majority of technology that's sort of looking at um, you know automatic analysis of video content is focusing primarily on the speech component. So you know certainly at Blinks, you know a big part of what we do is have software listen to the video and pick up the words that are being spoken. But the problem with that is that there are plenty of videos out there that don't have much speech in them, um, that are more visual in, in sort of style or you know everything from a romantic scene in a movie through to some kid doing tricks on a skateboard. You know it's not it's not going to be stuff with that much speech, just a few words perhaps. Um, so from Blinks' point of view, we don't just do speech, we actually do video, some video analysis as well. It's, it's pretty rudimentary at this stage. Um, it's mainly focused around creating small thumbnails around different scenes so that we know we can jump to you know, the first scene as opposed to the second scene and so on within a longer video. Um, but what's coming online little by little, and certainly what we're trialing in-house, is things like simple facial recognition, so we can tell famous faces in a video, um, so you might be able to search for the president and actually see when his face is there, not just when you hear him, um, and so on. So I think you'll see some of that come online. Um, but with all of these methods, you know, there are always limitations. You know, let's take speech, for example. It's a great idea. It certainly gets you a lot more information than not having it. But um, at the same time, as we said, there are lots of videos which don't really have a speech component or a useful speech component. The way Blinks' technology works is that we spider the web looking for any videos. When we find a video, we're able to do a very, very quick analysis on it, which tells us in a fraction of, 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 of the length of the video um, whether or not it seems to contain much speech. If it does, we then basically add it to a queue to be processed for the speech recognition process. If it seems to be silent or only have music, for example, or, or whatever, then it basically doesn't go through that speech process and instead is, is indexed based more on its metadata, on its tags, and so on. So, you know, just to give you a, a very broad example, a news site uh, like the BBC or CNN, for example, will, you know, most of the content, if not all of the content, will go through the speech recognizer because it tends to be quite speech heavy. A video sharing site like, say, Google Video, uh, it's likely to have more entertainmenty stuff that doesn't have so much speech. So many of those videos won't actually be processed through the speech engine. The beauty of um, of search is that you know for. for second there, for, for a brief second, you have an insight into someone's mind. You, you know what someone's looking for. You know that you, you may not know anything else about them, and you, you probably don't, frankly, but you do know that right now there is a person out there on some anonymous IP who's looking for you know um, information about Britney Spears concerts. Right? And at that second, you're able to sell that little parcel of information, essentially, to an advertiser and say, who out there is willing to, you know, has something which may be of interest to this individual. Um, and that's the beauty of contextual advertising. That's what makes you know Google's business model so so powerful and so scalable, and Blinks has exactly the same thing. And the, the beauty of it is, is that as video becomes more prevalent on the web and starts becoming something that we all use and expect on the web, we'll all want to search for it more. So we'll all go and search for video about Britney Spears, not just 
you know, a blog or a piece of text. And if people do that, then, you know, for that second, Blinks knows that you're looking for that and we can sell that space to an advertiser. So I think it's a very compelling model in that it builds on something which is already proven um, and does it in a sort of scalable, fairly, fairly efficient way financially.